Ian, we end the regular league season with a 5-0 win at home against our Broth. Um, it's a nice easy question. How do you summarise that that performance? <coughs> yeah, really good. Um, high quality from us. I think from the first minute we showed the uh, impetus in the game in terms of attacking. We played by a much better tempo. Um, again, it comes from different aspects. You know, we're at home and the Astro turf. It's a bit, um, you know, the pitch is nice and zippy. We've we've got two midfielders at fullbacks who are you know, naturally to go forward with the ball and drive in the way. And we had good, really good width to the game. Though I felt we we stretched the game width wise really, really well. We all we know with Cal Smith up front, we've got a willing runner to stretch the game in, in length as well. Um, but overall, really happy. I think um, as a manager, I can't ask for too much more of the players going into. The, uh, the final regular game of the season to come out with a 5 0 win, then you know it's, it's great. Exactly. Obviously, the headlines will go to uh, Callum Smith with the two goals and Lewis with the two goals. Uh, but for me, the, the standout performer, one of the standout performers outside of those two, were Scott McGill. And Kyle Turner, um, yep. very impressive by those two. Yeah, really good. I uh, thought we had uh, numerous uh, high performances all over the park. I uh, thought Scott McGill uh, in that full-back position, really, really good. I thought Ross Matthews as well in his position, really, really good. Kyle Turner showed why we brought Kyle here uh, in the January window to, to help us. and he, he really isolated himself 1v1. I've seen him do it many times before in these 1v1 situations. He caused their right-sided defender a lot of problems and created a couple of goals and a penalty kick for us which is great uh, so yeah overall um, there wasn't a player in the park tonight that you know comes comes in and, and should be um, disappointed with the performance I thought we all we all done really really well and that was reflected in the scoreline if we're being really pernickety and greedy we, we could probably score a couple more but I was equally as pleased with a clean sheet as I am with the five goals yeah and, and putting the, the five goals to, to one side as you said that performance if we can replicate that um, going into the playoffs We'll be we'll be in a good place. Yeah, we'll, we'll need to. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really hard games, uh, regardless of who we're playing. Uh, and that's just the first set to get through them would be great because um, and then going to the final and anything can happen. But we need to play at that level. We need to play that tempo, and that's that's a pleasing aspect for myself. That I know we I know we've still got it in us. We've come into this. You know, the last three or four games been really really solid in games. That, that's told by the clean sheets and um, Kevin's had to make some really good saves tonight he, he made one probably mm. one save in the game but we showed our attacking threat again um, but we have to do it again that, that's football you, you can't sit in it too long um, great for all the strikers though, to get goals and Big Jack nearly gets a double coming off the bench which is really really important so yeah we're, we're, we're happy we're confident and in fairness to the players um, and the staff our confidence has never wavered throughout the season we've always believed in ourselves we always knew it was never going to be easy it was never going to be playing sailing every single week and turning up and scoring three four five goals it's just it's just it's impossible for any team to do that but to come out on the last night of the season um, in front of our home fans and get everybody going again get everybody you know leaving here happy and ready for the playoffs as much as uh, as as much of fans as well. Yeah, you just and just picking out a couple of things from there uh, from your <coughs> last answer. You rightly heralded the performance of the goalie and the defence, the clean sheet, and an aspect of our solidity over the last few games is Dylan Core. Uh, really unfortunate for him when he went down with that what looked like a shoulder injury. Any any new early early news? <coughs> yeah, really really disappointed for Dylan. He was doing fine. He was part of a back four and, and goalkeeper that were, were going towards another clean sheet. He's done really well in the last three games. Uh, as a young player coming in, he's had to wait his time as well. Uh, so yeah, it was. It wasn't a bad tackle. It was just unfortunate. He dislocated his shoulder. It, it came out. It went back in. It came back out, and it went mm -hmm. back in. So we'll have to wait in it. And anybody that knows or has had a dislocation, uh, when it comes in and out like that, it's it's painful. It goes through you like a ton of bricks and from head to toe. So we'll have to wait. But it's one of those ones that uh, Dylan could be fine. But we just simply it's a waiting game for us. That's a good thing about finishing second. And I stressed it. So so important not just to miss around the games, but also to give us time to to rest and recover because it's been a long long season for us I think we're on nearly at 50 odd games for the season we certainly will be by the end of the first round of the playoffs and it takes its toll on players so that's the only down, downside tonight that, that Big Dylan's come off with a, with a sore one um, but we'll do everything that we can to get him ready Yeah, You mentioned to the mainstream press just before that um, a key aspect of tonight was that we hit we you know, <coughs> We hit that 20 win mark which was so important to you uh, and to the club as a whole um, good to get that box ticked as well 
Oh, absolutely. It was. Uh, I don't shy away from it. I was desperate to get to the 20 win. The win. I was hoping to get it last week, and we, and we just f fell a little bit short. So to get there, I think, is a fantastic achievement. And it might not be to everybody, but I think uh, for myself, I'm, I'm really happy to get there. I think 20 wins out of 36 games is, is a great return. I think our points total is really, really high. Our defence has been given a bit of a um, bad press, I would say, over the season. We finished for best defence in the league, and that's mm -hmm. um, remembering that we've, we've had a lot of injuries in there. We've had to play a centre uh, a centre midfielder quite a few times at, at centre back. We finished tonight with two centre mids at centre back and a centre mid uh, left back. Um, so the boys deserve a lot of credit. We brought a young goalkeeper in. His first season is a number one and he, he finishes in, the, in that fashion. So it's easy to throw stones at, at people, but when you look at the real fun, it's facts. It's, it's not an opinion, it's, that's fact based. That's what's happened. So really, really happy. Um, We'll always look back on games where we felt we deserved to win, but I think over the course of the season, and over the course of our 36 game season, you end up where you deserve, um, be that first, second, third or bottom of the pile, that's, that's football. So I've got no complaints um, of where we are, I'm delighted to, um, to get us into second position, but I'm, I'm as desperate as a supporter as we want to go one further. Yeah. Finally, um, th that second place finish, you know, well clear a third, the 5 0 win tonight, it gives the players a lot to be pleased about, and they'll be, they'll be allowed to celebrate a wee bit on Sunday at the Player of the Year event. Um, they'll be looking forward to letting the hair down as well yourself and the staff yeah absolutely we look forward to it of, co of course we do it's a recognition of, uh, of our season to celebrate with the supporters and the sponsors of the, of the football club who are incredibly important um, who back us all the time who support us and who help, help gain revenue for the football club so we'll go there uh, have, a, have a really good time but as soon as that's over we'll get back to business um, as I said to them after the game um, be sensible on Sunday and um, if you win the playoffs you can do what you want for as long as you want Happy days. Well, we'll talk to you more about those playoffs in the days leading up to it. But for now, thanks. Enjoy your weekend. And Thank well you. done. Cheers. Thank you.